Hey everybody, this is Sean OTD, and thanks again for coming back to Is It Worth It? Today, the Glock 19. Okay, so let's just jump right into it. Um, I'm making this video for the, the person that's out there that's going, gee, I need to pick up a firearm for self-defense, whether it be for a concealed carry, whether it be for a car gun, for vehicular travel, or for a nightstand gun for home defense. So, why a Glock 19, you ask? Well, let's go through a couple of different reasons, and I'm gonna show you a couple of different sizes, um, and we're gonna discuss caliber as well. The Glock 19 is chambered in nine millimeter. Uh, this is a Glock 19. Now, it is a step up from its little brother, the Glock 26. So, it's a half an inch longer barrel, and a half an inch longer handle. It is one step smaller than its big brother, the Glock 17, which is a half inch shorter barrel and a half inch shorter handle. So it's this interesting middle ground. Um, hence why I say concealed carry. It's easier to conceal carry this than the full size 17. And you have a much greater round count, even though it's not as concealable as the Glock 26. With this holding 10 rounds, this holds 15 rounds, with the Glock 20, with the Glock 17 holding 17 rounds. Concealability is, is good, especially if you're you know, a full-size adult. Um, you know, if you happen to be a smaller frame person, then you might want to look into some other options of doing a 26 with an extended mag or something like that. Cost per quality, per accuracy, dependability, reliability, everything that you can possibly want in a firearm is in Glock. I mean, Glock is where it's at. They're the starters of Strike of Fire. They're the phenomenal firearms. So going with Glock, you're never going to go wrong. They retain their value, but they also have a low barrier to entry compared to other firearms that would be in their field of dependability. Uh, Springfield XD and XDMs, uh, which I don't recommend uh, over the Glock. Uh, after shooting competition, I've watched lots of them fail throughout competition and people are having to go and get their backup guns out of their cars because they couldn't continue the competition. And that's something else is, you know, availability and commonality finding extra parts, finding extra our market parts, things like that. If you want to do any kind of modifications to your firearm, uh, there's a lot more and a lot more holster options for the Glocks than there are for the Smith & Smith & Wesson M&Ps. So I'm not hating on Smith & Wesson. It's similarly priced and it's still a striker fire weapon. They've kind of copied the Glock fairly well. Um, but Glock still does it a little bit better in my personal opinion. Well, let's go ahead and talk about 9mm versus 40 versus 45 ACP, and we'll even throw 357 SIG in, in the mix. Um, the reason for 9mm is there's a federal standard for firearms. When it comes to handgun rounds, there's only so much penetration that they're allowed to have because they don't want pass through. They don't want their rounds that they're shooting perps with passing through and hitting innocent civilians on the other side. So all handgun rounds are regulated to stop after a certain amount of push. So they stop, period. The only thing you're looking at between the different calibers is cavitation. That's the girth of the hole. So we're not looking at length, ladies. We're looking at girth, okay? So if you're using uh, FMJ, then they're just gonna be pushing into them. Um, of course, a 45 is gonna have far superior cavitation where a 9mm is going to have the worst cavitation out of the aforementioned uh, calibers. This, this is the biggest reason why. I would choose a 9mm for the average Joe, even if the round count is identical to the 45 and the gun is the same size, 9mm costs half of what a 40 or a 45 ACP or a 357 SIG cost. So you're looking at half the cost of ammo. You know what that means? Double the training time. So if you can shoot at the range twice as often, you can go to twice as many gun classes, twice as many you know, active shooting scenario seminars, you know, where you're going out there moving and shooting, and you can do more training because you're spending half on your ammo 
then that means under pressure, you're gonna have more shots on target. So shot placement counts. So obviously, you know, there's only one shot off point. Uh, if you hit the right spot of the brain stem, then that's the, that's the flip the switch. People have taken plenty of head shots and they've still lived. So, you know, even though I like zombie hunting just as much as the next guy, a, a shot to the head could go in right around the side of the head and pop out over here and graze the brain and nothing happened. So it's all about shot placement and practice and staying calm under fire. So if you're able to continually sustain shots at your target, you'll move and shoot, 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 and then reload, shoot, 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 and continue on in a calm fashion because you had twice as much training because you have all this expensive round that you're using then a slightly bigger hole in the person doesn't make that much difference. So let's also talk about something else. Uh, if you happen to pick a Glock 19 over their, their mates, Glock 26 will not fit a Glock 19 for obvious reasons, it's just too short. All right, so now we're talking about length, ladies, not girth. So now we're going back to Glock 19 it's Goldilocks. It's just right. It goes right in. Now, if you want to go with Glock 17, well, Mr. Mendingo here likes to hang out a little bit, but it still locks into place. Now I have more ammunition. So I can use a Glock 17 in my Glock 19. The stick mags, 30 some rounds, will still fit just fine plenty of room left over now mind the weight differential because it will have a weight differential when this is full of ammo and it's going to definitely pull your shots until you run your shots up into the handle and start to you know equalize that weight so is it worth it it is definitely worth it a good value gun for a great price block 19.